Okay, this is Ringwalk Media and Association with Barley Carter Racing and Red Lion Specialist Cars. Mr. Glenn Byrne, here we are. You've done it. You're a little bit sweaty, mate, but a very, very good victory. Yeah, how's it going, Jonathan? Uh, yeah, thank you very much. I've gone 5 and all now inside my first 11 months. Uh, couldn't be happier with my performance. I thought it was a good, mature performance. Didn't drop around, didn't take much damage. Um, he was very negative for it, but I feel like I've done well. I didn't panic or rush, and I picked me shots well. Listen, I've seen this opponent before, and he gave Cameron Vong the runaround. Yeah, you handled him very, very well out there. He's a very tricky opponent. I thought you were very, very mature in that. Yeah, don't get me wrong. At times during the fight, I could see that he was tricky. Um, he was happy to sit in the ropes and kind of flop and wave a bit and be a loose of He didn't play into his games. I kind of stepped back and made him come towards me. So then he was kind of out of probably his comfort zone with him being a journeyman and on the road. He... Um, he doesn't want to be getting hit. He's happy to do his game, but I didn't want to play into his hands. I wanted to show what I was good at, and I felt it done that. Yeah, you did, and you know it's very, very hard to turn a journeyman round from the running around, isn't it? It's very, very hard. In the end, I think you possibly could have took him out there if you'd have had another round or so. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Uh, Jay and Matthew Tommy were uh, constantly at me, load up on the body shots. Uh, I was catching them a double right. I think if I could have stayed in and probably had a bit more joy. I might have got him out of there, but at the same time, if I stayed in there, I could have got hit on the way out myself. So I felt like I'd done well. Um, I can't see saying in the interviews, the rounds benefit me. I don't gain anything from knocking someone out. I gain an ego. I think I'm better than I am. I get the rounds in. It helps me progress. That's three six-rounders now um, with six rounds banked in each one. So I, the last two, I, get, I got through them perfect. I'm, I could do another few rounds. So hopefully the next one maybe step it up to eight rounds. Um just keep gaining experience until the right fight comes, the right time comes to step it up in an opponent when an opportunity comes. Um, but I'm happy just keep come learning. I'm fighting good journeymen. I'm not fighting ones who are just coming to fall over. So that will stick to me and it will benefit me in the longer, uh, in the later fights. Listen, you had a 50-50 fight in your debut, so you're doing it the hard way, but you're doing it the right way, in my opinion. Um, one thing that I think now maybe people need to listen to is that you're not a full-time athlete right now. And I think if you can get another sponsor on board that's willing to take a chance and back you, you could go virtually full time. And that will make a huge difference in where you go in your career, I think. Yeah, no, that's exactly it, Jonathan. Uh, I work shift work. I changed my job to suit my boxing career. So now I work uh, working a data centre. So I'm doing 12 hour shifts. I work two weeks of days, two weeks of nights. It gives me extra time off to train. But like I'm sitting now, I'm doing night shifts, so my body's getting fatigued. I'm trying, I'm getting up the next morning at 11 or 12 to train before I go back to work again. It is hard, it's going to take its toll on me. So at the moment, I'm keeping going. I have fantastic sponsors who give me a lot of support. Um, I really give them all a shout out the lock in, Metway, um, Ian Man Recovery, um, Tammy, um, Career Vision Recruiters, Ian Coyle, um, Wes Hammer Minibuses. These all give me the opportunity to train when I can, oh, like I pay for my meals, they pay for fighting these shows, you have to pay your way when you don't have a, uh, you don't have, yeah, you don't have someone carrying your career, so they're all a massive help, they've been a huge help over the last year, like a fought five times, it's, the expense to fight five times in Ireland is crazy, because you don't get back them, so it's a, it's a big hefty fee, they've all made it possible alongside with friends and family who support me every fight. I'll tell you what, friends and family out there tonight, they were brilliant, weren't they? Yeah, every single fight, regardless. Uh, I was uh, up in Belfast on my second, on my third fight, I think my third fight. They travelled in numbers. Uh, every fight, they're here. They're constantly at me to get a fight away. I'm hoping that I can land one away, maybe in the UK somewhere, and they'll travel with me. Um, I think the better, the more fights I have, the better I get. I'm going to gain more fans because I think I was entertaining there. Don't get me wrong, I'm not flair. I'm not jumping out of the ring, uh, shuffling in this, but I'm, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I'm action. I come forward, I throw the right shots. I don't jab and just run away. I try and stand, land me shots. As I said, I didn't play to his game, but I was clever in there. So hopefully every four years, I just keep getting better and grow a bigger fan base. Well, I was really impressed with that tonight and uh, you can see the hard work paying off. Um, I know Jay's got a possible another show in November. You're going to be ready for that. You're going to have a little rest now. Um, yeah, no, to be fair, you've been at all the shows. Uh, you give me a lot of support, so I appreciate that. And even the comments of seeing I'm getting better. Um, everything Jay and Matthew are doing with me is working. I take a lot of uh, take a lot of time in the gym. Young Matthew who's fighting in the main event tonight. I train alongside him. We are in pro together. To see him fight for an Irish title is amazing. Um, I know how good he is, but he's taught me a lot. So I probably won't be back out in November, being honest with you. Um, this I had two holidays throughout this camp. I was away for three weeks. Uh, 
up until three weeks ago, so it didn't go ideal, and I felt on the body coming into fight week, I think I'd be better off holding off till February or March, but I have to stay in the gym, because I have to train, I have to get better, I have to constantly get better, and I'm happy to do that, I'm not arrogant, I know I have to get better, so I'm happy to go back to the gym now, keep plodding along, and aim for another step up in February or March, and then we take it from there. Listen, I want to put a personal plea out there. So anyone watching this interview on our channel, you know, Glenn is a really nice lad. He works very, very hard. He's doing this the hard way and, you know, he's learning. If anyone wants to come on board and give him that opportunity to go full time, get in touch with Glenn directly because I think we're missing a little superstar here and all it takes is that one little extra kick and together with the sponsors you've already got, this could possibly go a long way, mate. 100% and thank you very much Jonathan um, yeah, if there's anybody out there who wants to join the team I'd be, uh, I'd be really appreciative of it, I do believe that the more I, the more I get time to train um, I'm going to get the opportunities JB Promotions is the best in Ireland to be with he's going to get me the opportunities and when I take one of the opportunities it's going gonna, it's gonna to lead to good things for me so the more backing I get gives me a better position to take these opportunities so thank you very much for putting it out there in your channel Jonathan and if there is anybody out there I'd be really appreciative of it well, listen, you're very, very wet and soggy and you smell quite a bit as well. So on that note, mate, congratulations tonight. Well done and uh, I'll see you next year. Thank you very much, Anton. I'll see you next year, mate.